Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Vicon Fish channel where today we're going to be playing some more Castle Burn. It's going to be another super quick and super quiet video because I do not have much time tonight and I will have a longer video up tomorrow and the Saturday special coming out Saturday. But anyway, <coughs> let's get right into it for you guys. As you can see, I kind of pushed back up all the way back near to Gold 1. But here I'm going to show you guys some, uh, one singular replay. How did I come back in this game right here, ladies and gents? I have no idea how I won this game because I should, definitely should not have won this game. I'm playing against a gold player right here at level 6. So, you know, he's kind of decent. Uh, but right here, I, I don't I don't know how I came back. First mistake already off the bat is going here. I placed this one camp and I got two freaking cards. You're not supposed to do that, ladies and gents. Whenever you go for that first camp, you have to go for the Sanctum next. It puts you actually kind of behind and in a bad place when you go two cards. And I realized my mistake like right about now. I was freaking out because I was like autopiloting and that's why I did that. So really do not do that. <laughs> do not follow my lead in this. But how did I come back from this? We'll watch. All right, I really do not know how I, I, I happened to do this. But anyway, here, I got my Sanctum up. He's going to be a little bit ahead of me right here. But he's already going to be pushing here with some goblins. And I'm going to have my Ayla out right here. Uh, let's go right here. So we can see my Ayla is going to be pushing out some stuff. I mean, here's what happens. Right there, returning my Ayla right there. That's literally what saved me the entire game. I've realized now how important your hero is literally it's the most important thing in the early game and if your hero dies you're done basically here if my hero had died there this game's over but since my hero lived i can keep can continue can keep playing but here i'm going to cancel this and place back my hero again so this time i'm going to be able to take out her Ayla this time i'm going to be able to defend successfully now i have actually the sanctum uh lead right now on this guy and we shall see what happens next all right, right here, this guy's returning and all this stuff, and I'm getting a nice return off here, uh, trying to get all my stuff back. And as you can see, this guy's kind of playing aggressive. But as you can see, I probably, I think I canceled my return here. Yeah, I canceled my return, but he starts to return right away. So this is the worst situation for me, because now I know my ale is gonna die. So I'm getting my tier two upgrades, and I got the uh, earthen, so I'm able to get that up. And this guy has a nice little bomb to try and kill my ale there. So that was good by him. But now I got the earthen up and I'm able to defend this with my sorceress and everything here because now I actually have tier two cards, so it should be fine. But when the tier one, that hero is the most important card by far. Here I kind of over, I overcommitted there with that poison, but that's okay. We're chilling and we kind of retreat here. And right now I'm behind so much mana. I'm behind uh, probably 200 mana. And this guy is now playing aggressive again with those hammer warriors. And this guy is just has all the advantages. And this is where the game starts to turn around for me because of this amazing earthen spell. I got rid of his two riflemen in the back line. And I don't even have to return anything. I got a nice value trade off on my sorceress. I killed both of his stuff over there. And I'm going to be able to get a nice return off here, getting all my mana back. And now I'm basically tied up again now with the sanctum up on this guy. And I'm really the lead. And I'm able to get my tier 3. And this guy, I don't even know why he's gold. Because you're about to see an amazing play. <laughs> a really awful play, I mean, by this guy. I really do not know what he's doing. But anyway, now I'm starting to play aggressive. Because I feel like I have the lead right now. And you can see... <laughs> what is this man doing with that? What is this man doing? Three... Three freaking uh, dragon slayers? Oh my god, dude. How are, what's, what's the point of that? What's the point of doing that right now? And as you can see, I'm just kind of chilling right now. My Ayla gets taken out, but my Goblin Can is going to be hidden around on this Ayla right here. And I should be able to take out the Ayla's my Goblin Can. And now I see the dragons, so I'm going to do issue a return and try and get some uh, DPS against those dragons. I go for my own Dragon Slayers, and you're going to see here I'm going to get another positive elixir trade. Right now I'm getting up on mana. I'm just trying to gain as much adva mana advantage as I can. This guy still does not have a second Sanctum up. I get two Goblin Rocketeers and a Goblin Slay Dragon Slayers down, and they're able to take out the one dragon, which again leads me to a mana advantage, and I get a quick return, so I get another positive mana advantage. I'm going to expand my territory here. That's always what you want to do. And again, this man's doing this weird thing on the side here with his Dragon Slayers. I really have no idea what he's doing. Um, here I get a really nice Earthen off, killing almost everything there. And I'm going to get two Sorceresses up here just because I know that I can take out those things really easily. And I'm playing aggressive on this side and this side. And I have massive mana advantage right now. And right here, 
I should have backed off. Right at this moment, I should have backed off, but I continued playing, and it's fine that I did because I have such a man advantage, but if I wanted to play this game perfectly, I should have backed off a little sooner here. But anyway, here, this man starts to get a little more of an advantage again just because I stay way too long. Um, but my cards start to overpower him here just because of my man advantage in general and that he doesn't have any sanctums. Here, I recognize, and I definitely do take a nice little uh, slowdown here, and I redo my aggression. And I come for another pushback, and this guy is basically done, and that's where he gives up, and that's a GG. Well played, man. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that replay. Uh, super fast video today, and I'm really sorry about me being quiet, but I have to do it super quickly. I have tons of stuff to do, tons of studying for tomorrow. And anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you are new for content that will actually be louder in the future. And uh, I'm going to comment uh, some trick tips and tricks if you have some for me i'd really appreciate that anyway i'll see you guys next time where hopefully i'll be in gold next time i see you anyway peace out y'all see ya